Today I'm sharing my top three secondhand finds. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest. This channel is all about living the simple life, cooking from scratch, making home remedies, and creating a cozy home with charming thrift store finds. So if you're like me and you like living the simple life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Today I'm participating in a collaboration with Heidi from Rain Country Homestead, where we're sharing our top three secondhand finds. If you'd like to participate in this collaboration, please do and share some of your favorite secondhand finds. Just use the same title as us and add it to the playlist that we create. And something that I thought was so cute about Heidi, she told me that when she was making her video, she actually shared more than three things. I think she's sharing three things in three categories or something like that. So I'll try to do the same thing. I'll try to show three things in three categories. And my categories are gonna be books, no surprise there, <laughs> cast iron, and then third, kitchen items that are kind of pet related or animal related. And speaking of Heidi, be sure to go and visit her site, Rain Country Homestead. It's a wonderful site and I know you'll enjoy it. And I'll put a link in the description below as well as in the iCard uh, so that you can head over to her site. And she also has an Etsy shop and I'll be sure to put a link to that in my description. Uh, she's a wonderful seamstress among many other talents. And as a matter of fact, I ordered this apron from her which she custom made for me and I just love it. Well, now getting to the uh, secondhand finds. The first one that I wanna share with you is just an absolutely delightful book and this book was actually a gift to me from my husband and my son but they found it as a secondhand shop and it's really I really treasure it it's called peace on earth goodwill to dogs and those of you who know me well know how much I love dogs and so this book was just such a delight and look at the beautiful inside that it has very Christmassy looking uh, sort of goes in in title with in, in combination with the the title of the book and this book is from oh I should have brought my bifocals but this particular issue was printed in 1920 so it's just it's really a, a, just a charming treasure and it was written by uh, Eleanor Hollowell Abbott. So peace on earth, goodwill to dogs. And it's just got some wonderful, what, what the book is about is it just got some wonderful little, little stories. I think they're, they're fiction related. Uh, I don't necessarily know if they're true, but they're, they're just very, very cute uh, stories about dogs. My next uh, favorite secondhand find, again, uh, interestingly enough, this was actually found for me by my husband when he was rummaging through a uh, secondhand shop that uh, it sells uh, vintage books. And this one is called Women's Home Companion Cookbook. And it is just a wonderful find. Uh, this was actually, this particular edition was printed in the 1940s. And it, uh, at the time, uh, Women's Home Journal uh, Women's Home Companion also had magazines and he actually found me some of the magazines as well which I'll share with you another time and I believe this is what eventually went on to become Ladies Home Journal. Now, I'll have to check on that but I think I'm I think that's correct and uh, yeah, this particular edition was 1946, and it's it's just very charming. It has wonderful, uh, wonderful traditional recipes and all things that are just so charming to the home. And it's my bookmark. And being a homemaker, uh, it's very cute because it has a table set for informal dinner, our daily food, arrangement for buffet supper, winter and summer drinks yeast dough products uh, you know it just goes on like that and it's just just delightful and uh, I, it's got a section on petty fours you know I mean just one absolutely a wonderful old-fashioned uh, cookbook uh, with just terrific recipes that are totally from scratch cooking which which you know I love I love to cook from scratch and uh, you you won't see any canned soups or anything like that in here. It's, it's going to be all, you know, butter and uh, flour and cheese and it, it just terrific. So that, that's a real, a real charm and something I really enjoy. And it's so nice that it was given to me by my husband. 
Then the third book that I really uh, just find so charming is Betty Crocker's Kitchen Gardens. And I found this book when I first came to Texas. This was probably, uh, oh my gosh, so many years ago. And I, I wasn't even married yet. And I was shopping through an antique store in, I think it was Smithville, Texas, and it was outside of the Austin area, heading, heading to like Houston that way. And this was only $2. And what's so charming about it is, and you might be able to tell if you're familiar uh, with Tasha Tudor, but the illustrations are by Tasha Tudor. And you know, she's a wonderful lady who's got delightful cookbooks and lives very, she's passed away now, but uh, she lived a very, um, very simple, very country life. And uh, she has some wonderful cookbooks and she was just a, a delightful artist. And the, uh, the cookbook is written by Mary Mason Campbell. And it says, A Year Round Guide to Growing and Using Herbs and Vegetables. And it's cute that, you know, it's by Betty Crocker, but all, uh, all throughout the book are lovely illustrations like this that are all done by Tasha Tudor. And it, the, in addition to all of the wonderful advice that they give, you know, about gardening, growing vegetables and herbs, and I especially enjoy all of the information on herbs because I love growing herbs, and they talk about, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but they cover or in the book, they cover all the herbs. It just goes through pages and pages uh, saying that what it's like, what it's good for, what recipes uh, it's good to, to use in, and so on and so forth. And then again, just lovely, 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 delightful illustrations. So if you ever come across this in your travels, uh, I highly recommend it. Betty Crocker's Kitchen Gardens. It's a real, real charm, a real treasure. The next category is cast iron. And what I wanted to share with you was this trivet that I have that I just love. And it's got little legs. So, you know, you can put it down and then put something very hot on it. It's cast iron. It's quite heavy. I actually keep it near my fireplace. If I, you know, want to put like a cast iron pot down or something like that, I keep it by my fireplace in my living room. And uh, the fun thing about this is, this is what's called a William and Mary uh, trivet uh, after the English royalty. And I guess this was sort of their maybe coat, I don't know, not, not coat of arms, but sort of like a symbol that uh, represented them. And you can see sort of the W coming down like this and uh, you know up and down. And then here is the M. And the M is very pronounced, and with my name being Mary, I was very drawn to this. And what I have to tell you is I have had this since I was a little girl. My mother and my Aunt Virginia were wonderful thrifters. Uh, they were always going to thrift shops, and both were uh, very, very good, wonderful, wonderful thrifty women and uh, never wasted anything, really shopped very uh, judiciously and, and cautiously, you know, when it came to spending money. And they loved to go to thrift shops and uh, church bazaars and rummage sales and all of that. And uh, my mother would always take me uh, to those in the summer during the summer months when I would be out of school and, and free to go with her. And one that we went to, we found this. And my mother explained to me what it was, a William and Mary trivet. And she said, look at the M is so pronounced for your name. And so uh, I got this, and I think it was about five cents or 10 cents. And it was actually made in 1950. And it's just, I always have it there by my fireplace, and it's always a, a wonderful memory from my childhood. And the next piece of cast iron is really heavy. <laughs> That'll give you a workout. And as you'll see, this is one of those Dutch ovens that, you see, it's got the feet on it, so you can use it out, you know, on the, on the campfire. And what is really fun about this one, this was made, this is not, not particularly old, maybe I don't know, maybe uh, 20, maybe less than 20 years old, but it is uh, 
was made to commemorate, so it must be 2004 it must have been made, that's what I'm thinking, because the date on here is 1804. Not that it was made in 1804, but it is to commemorate uh, the Lewis and Clark expedition. And so the top is beautiful. I, I hope that you can, can see this. It, it says Lewis and Clark, uh, Corps of Discovery. And then up here is 1804, and then all here is made um, with a lovely uh, scene of mountains and whatnot. And then here it says Lodge. It was made by the, the Lodge Cast Iron Company. And it's just a, a really fun piece because it's so unique uh, to have this, uh, to commemorate, first of all, the Lewis and Clark uh, Corps of Discovery, uh, but then to have a Dutch oven that has this beautiful scene on top. I, 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 there must have been many made, um, but I've never seen another one. So it's, it's really fun. And I found this in my travels at a garage sale. And I got this for about $5, which just for cast iron and something so fun like this, that was really, really something special. Now, the third thing isn't cast iron, but it goes with this because it came with something that was inside of it and it was in mint condition. And I'll show you that right now. It was a lovely cookbook called The Lewis and Clark Cookbook. And it says, Historic Recipes from the Corps of Discovery and Jefferson's America, President Jefferson. And it's by Leslie uh, Mansfield. And it, again, it's just, it's wonderful. It has a lot of information about the Corps of Discovery. And it has some wonderful, wonderful pictures, uh, nature pictures inside. And it's just great. And I'll quickly go through a little bit of the, um, uh, the table of contents, although it's jam-packed with a lot of things, so I won't read it all. But basically, it covers gardens and grains, which is vegetables and grains, that they made soups, fish and fowl, meats, game, breads and baked goods, and they have some wonderful things, buttermilk biscuits, cornbread, hush puppies, spoon bread with corn and chives, pumpkin pecan bread, so a lot of nice things. And then they have creams, puddings, and pies. And then they also uh, go through and tell you exactly what all the uh, color plates are, these, these pictures that they, they put in the book. So it's, it's really, it's really quite, quite interesting and uh, something that I've, I've really, really enjoyed over the years here. I just wanted to show you some more. Some of the pictures are actually in color. So it's, this was really a ver something that I found to be very unique and something that I've really enjoyed having. And my third and final category is kitchen things. And these are things really animal or dog related, but I keep them in my kitchen. And the first is this charming little statue of Beatrix Potter's Mrs. Rabbit. And I just love this. And I'm on the hunt for Benjamin Bunny because my son's name is Benjamin. And this I found at a used bookstore up in Arizona when I was traveling with my husband and son. I think the chain was called Bookman's. For those of you who are in Arizona, you may know, know of it. And they have used books, but then they had a little section in this particular uh, one that we were in. I think there's a number of them uh, around the state. Um, they have uh, this little area that has knickknacks. And there was a little glass case and I saw this and I couldn't resist. And it was only a dollar. And it's so beautifully made. And it says on the bottom, Royal Albert, England. And it has the maker's mark and it's numbered. And then it says, Mrs. Rabbit, Beatrix Potter, F. Warner and Company. Um, oh, I can't, the date is very small on that. And then it says, 1989 Royal Albert limited so it must have been made in 1989 and i i just find it so precious and i really enjoy i keep it in my little china cabinet in the kitchen and i really enjoy it and one of these days uh it'll be matched with the benjamin bunny and i'm not sure if i mentioned but i paid a dollar for it now i actually found this at a goodwill and it was only three dollars and 99 cents and I was there on their senior discount day, which I qualify for. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but they give 30% off. 
on senior day. And now normally a plain white canister like this, I wouldn't be interested in, but wait till you see what's on the front. Treats. And it shows a lady giving her dog, the dog is shaking her hand with, with his paw and she's giving him a treat. I saw this, I picked it up right away. I didn't know what the cost was and I just said, oh my goodness, I have to have this. And what is so fabulous about it is it's in really good condition. There's not a chip anywhere and it has a fantastic, so I've got Obi's treats in here. It's got a fantastic airtight seal. It actually takes a little bit of a, a little bit of a strength to, to remove the top. So it keeps the biscuits nice and fresh. And I keep it in the kitchen on the counter. And it's just so charming. And I really enjoy it. And Obi knows now that uh, it, it's actually not on the counter. It's actually I have like a little desk in the kitchen. So it's more like table height. And Obi knows the treats are in here. And what I think is so cute is she'll go around the desk looking like this, like, I know mom takes something out of something over here that I like, you know, it's very cute. And I just really enjoy this. But when I got home, so I looked uh, for this online and it's, it's uh, on the bottom, all it said was America Retold. And I looked this up online and it is a pottery that some woman, some company, or it had a woman's name in it and whatnot, uh, made these in America Retold was kind of a line of uh, products that they sold. And it had a price retail new, $45, something like $45 or $49. I couldn't believe it. And there I was, $3.99 with my 30% off senior discount. And I've got this perfect, not a chip anywhere, beautiful airtight seal. And this was really a find and I'm very happy with it. And my next find is also dog related. And this was something else I couldn't resist. These beautiful coffee cups, they're China, but these tops are plastic. So I find it very interesting. This to me would be extremely elegant to have as a travel mug. <laughs> But I keep them in the house, but I think it's so cute that they have the little plastic lids that go on top for drinking. And these I especially love because it looks almost just like Obi, our dog Obi. She's, we call her a lab-ish. She may be a little lab, a little golden. We're not 100% sure she's a rescue, but this picture really looks like her. And I thought, oh my goodness, what a find. And... Not only was this quite the find, there were two. So that was double, double uh, good luck. And even better, they were a dollar each, 30% off. I paid 70 cents for these. And I'm gonna read to you on the bottom uh, a little bit about them. It says Spode, they're made by Spode was good quality china, I was very surprised. And this is from their Woodland collection. And it says, um, ceramic dishwasher and micro, oh, that it's ceramic, and that dishwasher and microwave safe. You can't beat that. And it apparently, I don't know, it says, these are re, you know modern made, clearly. Um, but the date on the bottom says 1938. Uh, like circa 1938. And I'm just wondering if the, if maybe this pattern here, I don't know about the dogs, maybe if this pattern up here, uh, because this does look like a very old fashioned pattern, uh, maybe um, was like a transfer wear or something uh, from that uh, time period. But in any event, these, <laughs> these were just a real treat to find. And I, I've never seen anything like them uh, to be a, a China, a, travel mug like that with the plastic lid and the dogs so it was just perfect if you'd like to see more secondhand finds be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where i share more thrift store finds and i'll see you over there in my texas hill country home love and god bless